Welcome beautiful citizens. Today we are going to talk about performance. So, as many of you know, the Star Citizen is not a finished product, it's constantly being upgraded. Right now, the game is in a good place and yeah, if you are a new player, you can probably experience some bugs, some lower FPS, because this game is not completely optimized. So, today I'm going to show you how to optimize this game inside of the game and outside of the game, specifically for NVIDIA card users, because I have an NVIDIA RTX 3090, so yeah, I have to <laughs> use that. So first thing that is very important to know is entering the game. Make sure that you have a lot of friends to find them in-game, to play with them, or just add some random players. Maybe they will accept your invitation. That is very important because of the server that you are going in. Here I have three friends. If you right click on this friend, you will see he is in a server with 94 people. This guy is with 95 people and this one is only 61. So less people, that means server is more stable and it has better FPS. The server FPS is not the same thing as the game FPS. The server FPS is completely another thing which is tied to performance or refreshing the position of the player while playing. For example, if you see a guard and the guard sees you, if the server is at 30 FPS, which is maximum, he'll seal you instantly. But if it's low, like 5 or 2, there will be delay before he sees you. And also that can impact on your own performance, I've seen, because my PC becomes slower when the server is bad. Okay, let's join this friend with 61 people inside and see what happens. All right, I have bed logged in my beautiful course here. Oh, just came directly to the door. Let's see our FPS right now. 50 FPS, not bad. I don't know if you can see this performance overlay that I've enabled. Sometimes it shows, sometimes it's not in video, but right now the FPS is around 50 to 55, but the 1% FPS is sometimes very low. If I start to move around, it will drop to 17 or 3 or something. And yeah, that could be really bad for you. But here right now, we have a nice, stable FPS and everything is smooth. So the server is good. So the next step is press escape, go to options and go to graphics. Now, here you can leave this as it is. Resolution. Now. If you are like me and you want everything maxed out, use this one. This is 4K. I am playing on a 4K monitor LG C2 and I need it for my videos. So yeah, if you lower the resolution to 56016600, you will gain around 5 to 10 FPS. So there, yeah, that's that. HDR, I'm disabling HDR. It's not yet properly implemented and maybe in the future. Yeah, it looks cool, but it's hard for me right now to edit with it, so I leave it on. The quality, quality leave on very high and rest on high. If you try to make a medium, you will not gain a lot of FPS, you will just lose the quality of picture, so do that. Now, one thing that a lot of players are not aware is field of view. For me, when I enter the game is around 85. This was my field of view when I entered the game. And that is some kind of zoom in the game. And because of that, my game looked pretty bad and the FPS was bad. I don't know why. So I start increasing and I looked at my FPS and when I reached 116, I get a wider view and my FPS is a lot, lot better. Motion blur. You can disable this off to gain more FPS. Granted, you will not gain a lot, but yeah. V-Sync. Turn the V-Sync off. So no. Sharpening and chromatic aberration. You can completely turn it off. It will not change much performance, only if you like it or don't like it. Test it for yourself. But most of the players are disabling this and they are gaining 1 FPS or 2, I don't know. But someone can have a little bit higher FPS if they pull it all the way to max. So try it, test it with your PC. Film grain, disable. 
No. And that is it. That is what I have for my computer. And look at this. Now, bear in mind, because I'm making a lot of video, when I disable camera blur option, now it's not so smooth. So I will go back and put the motion blur to camera motion blur. Now it's not much smoother because I'm making videos. This is essential for me, but you can gain some FPS if you disable this. The game looks perfectly smooth. I run the Ryzen 5800X and 32 gigs of RAM. Now, one of the things that Star Citizen is very power hungry is, of course, RAM. And you have to have at least 32 gigabytes of RAM or 64. Now, let's go to a next step of our optimization so the next thing that you want to do is open nvidia control panel you can right click and open nvidia control panel or you can go to here right click then select nvidia control panel i have already opened it then you have to go to manage 3d settings and this this next step is very very important go here now shader catch size you have to change this to 10 or 100 gigabytes. I've seen that 10 gigabytes works perfectly for my PC, so I'm sticking with 10 gigabytes. Absolutely important to enable. The next thing, if you have a G-Sync monitor, like I have, then you should enable G-Sync and also then go vertical sync and enable it because G-Sync and vertical sync enabled together will give you a little bit more performance. All right, guys, now I show you my settings in NVIDIA control panel. You can pause this and copy them for yourself. There you go. Now, next thing, image scaling. You can enable this GPU scale sharpening here, or you can do this. You can go to NVIDIA G4 experience, go to settings and image scaling on. Select the render resolution that you want and then select the sharpening. And then you will gain around five to 10 FPS if you, for example, take 85% of 4K, which is kind of cool and nice. Sadly, I cannot use that because I want the quality of my videos at the best settings, but for you, who is just playing game this is not so important and you will not notice so much difference so yeah try using image scaling and it will improve your fps for sure so this is it guys these are the settings that i use inside of my game with these settings i have managed to take to have a really nice balance of quality and fps when i'm in a space it's from 50 to 80 fps and when i'm on a station or there is around 40 to 60 fps and when i'm on a planet depending which planet it is like here we have crusader on crusader you will get 30 to 50 fps and maybe on r corp or something else around that number the hurston is the baddest <laughs> there you can get from 0 to 30 and yeah that is it Hope you guys find this video helpful and it will improve your gameplay. Like the video if it helped you, subscribe and don't forget to share this with your friend. And until next video, have fun out there citizens and enjoy your new game.